It's Christmas. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? Okay, um... I got him killed. What? It was my fault. Oh, darling, don't say that. I know that ain't true. He made a choice. Same as the rest of us. He was a hell of a guy. When my son... Well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. Quack, so, quack. <laughs> where'd you end up? Uh, but that's it. There. I was with Krista and Omid. Omid? Well... Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. Inception. <laughs> Bomb. <laughs> sorry, bad joke. For some reason, like I tried a dad to joke. save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Is that a sexist thing? I kind of sounded sexist. Uh, 
Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Let's see. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Hmm, let's see. Looks great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. <gasps> uh oh. Oh shit. It does one, does one, does one. Oh, CD. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. I need to tell some though. Ignore the radio. Oh, CD player. Anyone, anyone. We killed a friend! We killed a friend! <laughs> Pick up this, pick up this. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? You can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Oh, we, we, we killed that friend! Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Let's have a nice little conversation, shall we? Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard, but at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Sure, why not? She's going to be a runner. If he finds out it's not his, they'll kill him. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Did you find Simon and Fedor? Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know. I need to I tell mean... someone we killed that friend. I, I need to tell you. someone. You get some rest now. 
Anyone around? Anyone? I mean anyone. No, damn it. It's, a, it's talk over here. I can't find my map, people. I'll speak Can to you instead. Some help? Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. I take it it's the box upstairs. The one that it's like a glance at. Hello again. Just the uh, looking in the box. Okay, grabbing an angel. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. Uh... Last time he met me, he called me Rita. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. A little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. Uh oh. Clem, we definitely blew him away. I ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and well, I'm curious. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman, but I'll tell you when I met him he couldn't lift a fly Well everyone dinner is served. Come on. Let's eat You okay man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Uh... Oh man, this is awkward. Uh... This is real awkward. Uh... I have a coin to flip. E neat, me neat, mo neat, mo. Something, something. I will go. Uh, the, the, I just randomly clicked. What's the click? Oh, Kenny. Okay. Here you go, Clem. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. I'm tired of running. Of course you are. You don't have to run no more, darling. <laughs> Table switch. Was <laughs> it was for the musical chairs? <laughs> hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. 
Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winters so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Go play some mu more musical chairs. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you Quack. uh <laughs> for a moment? I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? No, I definitely well, have. have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? I think we kill Matthew. <laughs> you can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Blow Matthew's head off. Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Hey, sir. Please, do you have any food? Are Bonnie, okay? was it? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Yeah, I thought it was. Walt, I don't know. You're just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. She was in the DLC, we'll it's cool. To get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. 
You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? Eleven! I'm eleven. I would have thought older than that. So look, I have psychic mind powers as well. Do 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 do. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. <laughs> 